Yo, what's up guys? Justin Walter here. Let's talk about getting ripped and ready for that photo shoot. So, over the last decade, I've really prided myself on outdoing the competition by showing up bigger, leaner, having better posing, and bringing that balanced, proportional physique, giving that total package to the sponsors and to the editors. So, what are the most important factors when it comes to showing up on the day of the photo shoot? And just how much time do you have? You know, Muscle and Fitness calls and says, Hey, Justin, we need you in Beverly Hills in three days. I'm going to hop on the call. I'm going to take it. I'm going to get on the plane. I'm going to get out there and do the shoot. But in a way of actually losing body fat in this window, it's just not going to happen. So you have to be ready. If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. So in this situation, what would I do? I would just drop my water weight down. I would make sure that my muscles are as full and as round as possible. Make sure I had a nice balanced tan on there. Probably put a spray tan over it. And just really bring that nice conditioned physique and show up and do the best with what you got. Now, ideally, you would have about 8 to 12 weeks to prep for a shoot. So, say you had 8 weeks to get ready. Over the first 4 weeks, I'd probably have about 75 grams of carbohydrates in my pre- and post-workout meals and no carbs in my other meals besides that except for fibrous vegetables. This way, throughout the day, I'm tapping into my glycogen storage, getting leaner and leaner except around that training window. So, I'm going to really earn that meal. And for me, that pre-workout meal is going to be bison meat, sweet potatoes, and broccoli, about 50 to 75 grams. Post-work, I'm going to do two scoops of ISO 100 with some blueberries and oats for another 75 grams of carbohydrates, and that's it for the day. Now, after that first four weeks, I'm getting to the last four weeks of the prep, I'm going to bring it down even lower. It all depends on how your body responds. You may be able to do more, you might have to do less, but I'll bring it down to about 25 to 50 grams for the last four weeks, which is brutal, and it's very, very mentally grueling. You know, you may not always feel your best. It's going to affect your mood a little bit, but that's why it takes mental discipline. It takes grit and mental strength training to really get through these workouts and still keep going heavy. This is when guys are getting lean, they start to lighten the weights too much, they start to just puss out and miss training sessions and make excuses, and I'm not compromising my sleep, and I'm not compromising my heavy training sessions. These are so crucial. You're still prioritizing recovery, but you're still training hard and training heavy, keeping that hard, dense physique there. Now, other topics of prepping for a photo shoot, let's talk about posing. I see so many guys that are huge or ripped or whatever, there's always a million awesome physiques on the internet, but how come those certain individuals can transcend onto the magazine cover and inspire millions of people? And it's because they are so in tune with every inch of their square body, their mind-muscle connection is just insane, they're feeling every little muscle fiber contract, and the posing is on point. I've trained top bodybuilders, and I've trained ballerinas and gymnasts and these type of athletes, and I've seen so much more in way of detail with posing with these gymnasts and ballerinas that I've been able to kind of implement and integrate in my bodybuilding training because these little details do matter. Which muscles are activating? Which muscles are overly tense? Which muscles need to be stretched out and lengthened? So finding that balance between opposing muscle groups and having that overall completeness to the physique is a huge factor when you get on camera. And last but not least, let's just talk about overall leanness and getting dry. So overall leanness, obviously staying lean is the most important factor. When it comes to bringing that dry, hard, ripped physique to the show or to the photo shoot, what you have to think about here is that you're going to manipulate your water and give yourself plenty of water. So about seven days out from a photo shoot, I'm going to hyperhydrate with about three gallons of water, two and a half gallons, two gallons, one and a half gallon one gallon, maintain that one gallon up until that point, and my carbs are also very low, almost nothing at this point, so it doesn't matter how you feel or how you think you look, get outside of your head and trust the process, because about 24 to 36 hours out from the photo shoot, you're going to start adding in carbohydrates, and stick with like brown rice, sweet potatoes, and I usually eat oats all year, but even oats I feel like can make you a little puffy and bloated the day of the shoot, so stick with those really clean, complex carbohydrate sources, and slowly watch the muscles fill up as the water comes down for that full, tight, vacuum-sealed look so you're ripped on the day of the photo shoot.